Hey there, once again, welcome back to Wow Lessons. In this video, I'm going to share with you all the essential information and tips that you need to be successful in your IELTS listening test. First, we are going to start by reviewing the exam content and then we will move on and see how the listening module is evaluated. We will go through different kinds of questions asked in the IELTS listening modules and learn how to solve them efficiently. In a nutshell, this video is your ultimate guide of success to score high in the IELTS listening modules. So let's get started. The first thing you need to know about IELTS listening section is that this part is not different in IELTS academic and IELTS general test modules. You will have 30 minutes to listen to audio recordings and an additional 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. In general, you will spend about 40 minutes on this section. You will hear 4 different audio recordings and you will need to answer 40 questions, 10 questions for each recording. You will have an opportunity to listen to each recording only once. Therefore, you should answer all the questions at once while listening and you should be extremely careful not to miss relevant information. As you progress, the level of difficulty increases. For instance, task 2 will be somewhat more complicated than module 1 and task 4 is considered the most complex one. In the first section of the IELTS listening, you will hear the dialogue of two people on a general topic. For example, you can hear someone buying tickets or calling to clarify any information. In the second task, there will be an informal monologue, one speaker. For example, the speech of the tour guide or the speech of a person who argues on an everyday topic. Thus, the first two listening sections contain situations from daily life that you may encounter while living in an English-speaking country. The third and fourth sections are a bit more complicated since they usually contain academic assignments. In part 3, you will hear a conversation of two to four people, for example, a group of students discussing the implementation of an educational project or the teacher and student talk about the research conducted by the student. The fourth section includes a monologue on any educational topic. For example, it may be a small lecture by a teacher in biology or physics. How is listening module evaluated? As I already stated, in the part of listening section, you will need to answer 40 questions. Each correct answer will qualify for one point. You don't lose points for incorrect answers. Thus, you can get 40 points, which are then converted into a total score for the part of listening section. You can find more information on the conversion of point on the official IELTS website. Use this table when performing the IELTS listening test band analysis to check where you stand at the moment. However, it is worth noting that the version of the real IELTS listening test may differ slightly, so they can be evaluated differently. In fact, you don't need any special techniques to do IELTS listening tasks, like for example reading. However, you should be well organized in the sequence of your actions during the listening part. This is very important because you will hear all the recordings only once, so you need to concentrate and not miss relevant information. To do this activity, follow this action plan. Before listening to audio recordings, you will have time to read the questions. Take advantage of this time wisely. First, listen carefully to the moderator to understand what questions you should pay attention to. For example, you will be told, first you need some time to look at questions 1 to 7. There is no need to read the questions beyond the 7th. They will give you more time to read the following questions later. Within the allotted time, you should spend 30 to 40 seconds to analyze each question. For a thorough analysis, you need to determine the type of question and understand how to answer it. Also during the analysis, you should find the keywords on which you will concentrate on hearing while playing the audio. Try to predict the answer. They should also be done during the analysis of issues. But this does not mean that you have to guess the answer itself and write it down. You just need to imagine what response to expect. This will help you find keywords. You may find it very difficult to do all this activity within just 30 to 40 seconds for each question, which are allotted for reading questions. But if you practice a lot in applying these techniques before the exam, it will not be a big problem for you. In the previous stage, we talked about the fact that you should find keywords in each question. It will really help you find the answers to the questions in the assignment. Just like in reading, in listening you will find a large number of different tasks. You must be prepared to handle every type of questions. Therefore, let's take a closer look at the kinds of questions asked in this part of the IELTS. Form completion. Most likely you will meet this type of question in the first section of the IELTS listening, although it may also appear in the other sections. 
In this type of assignment, you will need to fill in the blank in any form or questionnaire. In this task, it is very easy to predict the answer because the form and questionnaires often already contain all key information. For example, age, name, work, hours, phone number, etc. Multiple choice assignments are found in almost every test. Usually, you will need to choose one answer out of three. But sometimes, there are tasks with four or more answer options. In this case, you will be asked to choose several correct answers. When you answer such questions, you need to remember that you must write the letter A, B or C in the form of the answers and not the word. Answers with words will be considered incorrect. In this type of assignment, you will need to add a short answer to the question. Here, you need to be very careful when reading the instructions. The instructions will tell you how many words you can write in the answer. When you analyze questions before listening, be sure to check keywords. This type of question is usually asked to find some detailed information, so you need to be ready to hear it. Sentence completion. Here you will need to supplement the sentence with a short answer. Don't expect the recording to play the sentence from the assignment word for word. Most likely the statement will be rephrased. Therefore, when analyzing a question, think about possible synonyms. This task is a type of short answer question, so here you should also carefully read the instructions. In almost every section of the IELTS listening section, you may encounter questions with a schedule, table, notes or a summary. These tasks may seem different, but the way they are done is one way. In each of these tasks, you will need to enter the missing information. When performing these tasks, you should pay attention to the question number and to where it is located to determine if we are talking about a chart or a table. Also, try to find keywords around spaces. Labeling a diagram, map or a plan. In this task, you will be presented with a chart or a map and you will need to give names to specific parts of the map or charts. As a rule, you will be given answer choices that you can use when marking. Another type of task is matching. Here, you will need to connect the pieces of information according to what you heard. Most likely, you will have to focus on the details while listening and determine which category the information you hear is related to. By now, you have got a pretty good idea about the sort of questions asked in this part of the IELTS. Now, I would like to give you some useful tips that will not only help you during the preparation for the test but also on the exam itself. Listen to different accents. Don't forget that IELTS is an international exam. And this means that with regard to listening, you may have to listen to people with different accents. It can be quite difficult to perceive a speech with an unfamiliar pronunciation, for example, Australian or Canadian. So it is better to take the time to get acquainted with different accents of English pronunciation before the exam. You can easily find the resources for listening to various accents on the internet. For example, on ABC Radio, you can listen to Australian accent or on CBC Radio, you can find Canadian accent. In addition to different accents, you should just listen a lot in English. And no matter what it will be, serials, radio, songs or podcasts, the main thing is that the speech should be in English. A good way to practice listening is to start every morning by listening to BBC Radio or you can listen to the radio on the go when you go to work or study. In addition to practice of listening, it will be useful for expanding vocabulary. Probably every time you hear a lot of new words, don't be lazy and write them down in your notebook and find the meaning of those words once you get the time. Solve a lot of practice tests. Attempting a lot of practice tests will allow you to become familiar with the various types of tasks and you will learn how to properly allocate time before listening for analyzing questions and searching for keywords. Practice using the answer form. When you finally decide on giving a test, get used to of using actual answer sheet several times. It will be useful to know what it looks like before the exam. In addition, you can understand how much time it takes for you to transfer the answers to the answer sheet. In the exam itself, you will have only 10 minutes to do it. If you learn how to transfer answers fast enough, you will save time on checking your answers and finding errors. A test version of the form can be downloaded from the official IELTS website. Read the instructions carefully. Always read the instructions for the assignments before listening, even if you have already completed the test 100 times. The instructions contain important information about how many words or numbers you should write in the answer. 
Remember that all words are considered, including articles. For example, a holiday. Here in this answer, there are two words, including article and holiday. Keep in mind that you need to write numbers, not numbers. Do not be alarmed if in the assignment you are asked to write one number. For example, 1950 is one number but with four digits. Learn to listen and write at the same time. During your IELTS listening test, you can listen to the recording only once. Therefore, you will have to listen and write at the same time. Don't wait for the recording to end to answer questions. You have to do this while listening. But don't write your answers immediately in the form while listening. You are allowed to write on the question paper. So write the answers right there. To transfer the answers to the form, you will have another extra 10 minutes at the end of the listening section. Try to avoid making mistakes in the spelling of words when using grammatical forms. If the word is written with an error, the answer will be considered incorrect. Be prepared for a change. Very often, speakers can change information in an audio recordings. For example, one speaker says, let's meet at 1 p.m. tomorrow. And another speaker says, okay, that's fine. Then he says, oh, sorry, I'm busy at 1 p.m. Maybe meet at 2.30. You must be prepared for such changes. Don't relax immediately. As you heard the answer to the question, continue to listen carefully. Practice listening to the large groups of numbers. Often in the first section of the listening, there is a task where you need to write a phone number, date, or hours of work. Very often, the numbers and dates are pronounced rather quickly and you should not hope that they will be repeated again. Therefore, it will be very helpful to practice listening to numbers before the test itself. Don't try to understand everything you heard. You don't need to understand every piece of information that you hear. Your goal is to answer the questions in the best way possible. To do this, you need to find the keywords and focus on them. Keep calm and concentrate. Listening is the first part of the IELTS exam that you must complete successfully in order to continue to perform the remaining tasks in the good mood. Successful completion of IELTS tasks largely depends not only on your knowledge and degree of preparation but also on the right concentration. If you start the exam in a good mood, you will be able to keep it throughout the entire test. Therefore, it is imperative to pay full attention when preparing for the part of the listening because this is the first section that you will encounter in the exam. I hope this video will be helpful for you in your IELTS preparation. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you loved this video. See you soon in the next video.